soils are actually home to more than 25% of the plant's biodiversity. And this can include many different types of organisms in the soil, be it vertebrates or invertebrates, viruses, fungi, uh, bacteria, even lichens and plants are present in the soil if you think about the plant rooting system. And together, collectively, these uh, different forms of soil biodiversity support a multitude of ecosystem functions and services that benefit us not just as human beings on the planet through, through food production um, and, and also our clothes. Many uh, are based upon things that we grow in the soil, but also they contribute to the wider maintenance of the environment. So ensuring that the environment uh, stays healthy. And these functions can include things such as primary productivity, so the growth of crops uh, and support of animals, uh, both for food production, but also in the case of clothing um, and feed and fiber. It can also include cycling and storing of carbon. So carbon is really important to um, sustain and to um, drive many of these ecosystem functions that take place in soils. It's actually the food source for biodiversity. So it's really important that we manage this carefully. The biodiversity uh, have an integral role in recycling of nutrients. They help purify water and also regulate the movement of water through the soil profile uh, down to the groundwater and the aquifers. And they, of course, support both a diverse habitat within the soil itself, but also support the habitat above ground too. So as you can see, soil biology is really important in terms of supporting ecosystem functions and has received a huge surge in interest in recent years and is now really considered a cornerstone of sustainable agriculture. The soil biological data, because it's often uh, quite difficult to sample and then analyse uh, within a time frame that allows us to truly capture the biodiversity that's taking place, is often the forgotten thing that we measure. Um, and this can be down to the fact that it's very expensive. It can be down to the fact that it, it can be quite difficult to do in the labs. Um, but at the same time, soil biodiversity is the driver of many of these ecosystem functions that I've just talked about. And so if we don't capture this information, then we're really not truly understanding the systems and the processes that are taking place in the soil in order to support our, our living planet. So it's critical that we really look at how we can improve upon. Uh, we have many new techniques now that allow faster throughput um, to collect oh. data on soil biodiversity and also to ensure that we standardize those methodologies across the world so that in that data collection, we really can compare the different systems and the different um, climate zones of the world mm -hmm. and, and the biodiversity that exists. In the Soils for Africa project, uh, we recognize, of course, that soil biodiversity is a critical component, um, but we already face a huge challenge of trying to sample 20,000 sites in this project. Uh, which is a massive um, logistical uh, undertaking already uh, across the whole of Africa. Um, so to include biodiversity measurements within this project can be um, particularly difficult because of course when you collect samples we often need to analyse them very quickly or keep them in cooled or, or frozen conditions before the analysis takes place. And that can be extremely challenging when, when you're looking at 20,000 sites across the whole of the continent of Africa. So actually what we intend to do in this project is that we uh, will really identify uh, which measurements or which components of soil biodiversity uh, are critical in trying to further understand the ecosystem functioning that can be associated with the different soils in, in Africa. And we will um, then look at how we can apply these to some of the benchmark sites that we have. Uh, where we will do additional analyses to test actually the feasibility of measuring these methods uh, within this project. Um, and hopefully from that, it will allow us to understand then in future projects where we can extrapolate that knowledge and further sample um, to really integrate biological analyses in African uh, sampling regimes in the future. Mm -hmm.